In Bambi land, the natural world is a harmonious place. Disney would have you and me and the kiddos believe that animal societies all work together for a tranquil kingdom full of love, fun, and understanding. If you'd like, you could eat a cupcake and dream along. But real life is different. I'm fascinated by large and beautiful caterpillars that eventually fly as colorful butterflies and moths. If benign and gentle creatures deserved safe passage, then these would live in peace. But hold on. Tachinid flies crash the party. The tiny white specks seen here may seem harmless, but they're eggs of this voracious fly parasitoid. If you can take it, keep watching. Otherwise, turn on Disney+. Plus. A female fly finds a host and starts to work. A tobacco hornworm senses imminent danger and writhes vigorously to discourage its tormentor. But the fly is relentless. The fly lands again and again, laying an egg each time. It's the same with every species. Attached eggs hatch and tiny maggots burrow beneath the skin. At first, not much changes. The baby flies eat their host from the inside out as it continues to live and feed. But the maggots get bigger and start to affect the caterpillar's organs. The caterpillar gets sick and stops feeding and the flies continue to grow and eat their living host. They finally kill their victim. By then they are mature and ready to change to adults. Sometimes they exit a corpse. Sometimes a still living host. Then they burrow out and drop to pupate in the soil. It's a grisly scene for a praying mantis or a monarch butterfly or a fallen hornworm. After a week or so, new flies emerge from the soil, mate and look for more victims. It's their job. Gnarly, but it's the real stuff and it happens all the time. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.